so like counting down like at this point um <clears throat> so that will put me 11 weeks out i think i think that's right 11 weeks from my due date which is march 31st so um, i don't know if you guys can see my belly but um this is me uh, i'm filming in my bathroom again uh, actually simply out of convenience. Like I came in my bedroom and I was like, oh, you know what? Let me go ahead and record this video. <laughs> so that's why I'm in my bathroom again. So not to mention my son is asleep and I don't want to be um, too loud in the front room. Um, anywho, so came back from my checkup. I'm going to tell you guys about my checkup. Uh, I did my glucose test and did all that and then I also wanted to go ahead I'm a planner and so I've already like gotten my ducks in a row as far as okay my kids go if I go into labor in the middle of the night who's gonna have the kids um if I'm doing March so still school and my daughter she's nine she's still you know she's in school so who's gonna have her who's gonna take her back and forth to school for the three days in the hospital you know like all that so I got that taken care of and the other thing I wanted to go ahead and start discussing with my doctor was my birthing plan. When I had Nadia, I did get an epidural. When I went through labor with Raylan, the plan was not to get the epidural, but I did end up getting the epidural. That right there, let me tell you right quick. So I was planning to go natural and it had been about... 12 hours of labor and when she came in and checked me um I was only four centimeters I was livid <laughs> I was so mad I was like forget this give me the epidural because I thought surely like I was like eight centimeters you know like anyway I wasn't so I ended up getting the epidural okay so this time I was like I'm I'm going to get the epidural that's what I'm just gonna go ahead and do that but my thing was I didn't know, should I get it at a certain centimeter? Should I, when should I do it? Does it help progress, you know, faster? Does it slow it down? Like, you know, all these, I had these questions and I didn't do my research this time. Like I usually do, I'm such a researcher. I just went to my doctor with this. So she had told me that they had actually just put out an article about this, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, it does not do anything. The upper door does not, do, speed it up slow it down it does not help it simply helps with the pain it that's it it does it's not going to help your labor and delivery any faster or any slower and that was my main thing so what i've decided to do is i am going to um hold out as long as i can like as far as like the pain goes and then I'll get the epidural. And I'm gonna tell you why I chose to do this. Once you get the epidural, you can't get out the bed. You can't, like, you're confined to that bed. And you have to, like, call a nurse to go to the bathroom and all this kind of stuff. Uh -uh. That's not for me. Last time with Raylan, like, I was able, my husband and I um, were able to, like, walk around the hospital, which, you know, helps with labor. So we walked around the floor that we were on and, you know, we were able to move around and uh, just be mobile instead of instead of in the bed. <laughs> and um, that's what I prefer. So I'm going to hold out as long as I can. And then I'll get the epidural because that's just how it's going to go. So that's that with my birthing plan. The other thing I want to talk to her about was my... Um, birth control so we don't want any more kids uh riley was a surprise 
So I, I want to take the steps that I need to take. <clears throat> so um, I was discussing this with her and I told her that I wanted to do the 10 year. So I'm bringing this up because I actually want you guys opinion on this. If you know anything about it or I've already done a little bit of research, I've already uh, read several reviews from women who have it um, or have had it. Um, my mom actually wants me to get my tube side. That's what she did. I did my research last time when I had Raylan, um, well, during the time I was familiar with Raylan, about having my tubes tied. And it just, like, I just didn't hear good things, and it just, I was like, I didn't want to do it. And um, so I didn't. And... Um, my mom is like, make sure I do my research, da, 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 which is who I am anyway. That's what I do. So anyway, this is what it is. I hope you guys can clearly see it. Okay, and um, it's the Paragard, and they also call it the Copper. And the, all the reviews that I read were good. Like, they have a 7.5 rating. Um, from reviewer, reviewers, that's their average. Um, <clears throat> so, I don't know, I'm leaning towards this. The only things that I've heard, because it's not hormonal, uh, you don't deal with like weight gain or mood swings. So that was a plus. The only negative thing that I've heard would be your cycle may last a day or two longer, and it is a little bit heavier. Uh, I can deal with a little bit heavier compared to really heavy, which is what I heard from um, having your tubes tied, that it is quite a bit heavier. Um, some women actually went back and had their something, something or another with it, they scraped, something on the inside to thin out your cycle okay and I don't want to have to go through that too you know like if I can do just this that would be awesome um but I'm gonna compare to compare the two so you guys tell me like leave a comment down below if you know anything about this you know someone who's who has it um or has had it I know that some of these that you get ins inserted, they have like class action, action lawsuits and things like that. Um, <clears throat> people had issues. I know everybody's, somebody's gonna have an issue with something because everything is not built for everybody's body. Just like with hair products, every product's not built. You know, like that's just life. Um, but overall, is what I'm looking for. So anyway, I did want to uh, bring that up because this is like major, you know, this is, even though it's a simple task, it, it takes three minutes to, you know, pop it in there. But anyway, I want to talk about this too. Um, so my doctor gave me this and I thought it might be fun to open it on camera. <laughs> so let's see what's in here. Um, Similac. I'm going to breastfeed, uh, but I find that with both my kids, I breastfed, but I always had formula stocked just in case. Like with Nadia, I end up, she's, she sucked me dry. Like I had nothing to give and she was still hungry. <clears throat> and so we end up switching the formula like six months in or um, no, 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 three months in three months in. So anyway, it's, I, I like to keep it, you know, something. So I'm glad my doctor sent this, gave me that. Um, I'll probably get a couple of more and look like just some little bottles, my nipple and some information from Similac and certificate um i did this last time the i did all three of these last time i don't know if any of you ladies have 
because I know this is like everywhere, like um, Babies R Us does it, Target does it, I think, and uh, you can find it online, like if you signed up for different um, mommy things, parent blogs and such, they send you these, all three of these. And I did this last time, but um, I'm actually going to make my own nursing cover this time. I'm also making my own car seat cover this time. And I wasn't like thrilled with this pillow. So I've done my research on what pillow I'm going to get. And I'll do a, a review and so forth on the pillow <clears throat> that I get. But um, I, this one wasn't good enough. I want one that actually snaps around my back and stay in place. So I won't be doing this one, nor will I be doing the boppy. Um, anyway, so we'll talk about that more later. So yeah, that's all that was in there. Um, and honestly, that's all I had to discuss. I'm glad to be, you know, leaning towards the end. Um, I am now in prep mode. So you can expect more videos because I'm, I have plenty to talk about and plenty to show you. <laughs> so, um, Anyway, that's it for today's mommy video, and I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope that I help, and you guys can help me by commenting down below, and I guess that's it. Thanks. Don't forget to subscribe.